Hey, how's it going guys? Uh, it has been quite a long time since I've started this series. Uh, I actually started it in February. It is currently July, so a um, bit of a delay then. There's probably going to be even more of a delay until when I publish this, but I figured I had some free time today, so I figured I would show you how to set up a website. So in the previous episode, I covered how to set up Cloudflare. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a DigitalOcean virtual machine. So I have created my account. I have money or I have like a credit card linked on here. So we are ready to go. I'm going to click create. We're going to click droplet. So this is a virtual machine that's in the cloud. So basically what this is going to do, this is what's actually going to run the website. So it is going to be inside of this cloud, I guess. Um, so you don't have to do anything. You don't have to run anything on your computer. Um, it's literally just a website you have to use and you'll set it up and then you'll connect to it. So I just picked New York. We're going to scroll down here. And so our OS marketplace, there's all kinds of images. So I honestly recommend Ubuntu is probably the easiest to get started. There's a ton of stuff online um, that you can find about it to figure out how to do different things. So I'm going to stick with Ubuntu. Um, and I'm going to leave this on shared CPU because honestly, the performance does not matter for what we're doing. Then I'm also going to actually move this to regular. It's going to save us some money. Uh, and you can actually, if you really wanted to, you could probably even do this $12 a month plan. Uh, it'll be very cheap. So I'm going to choose probably, I'm going to choose a $12 a month plan just for now. And the nice thing about this is if you shut it down, you don't get charged at all for it. So if you're just testing this for like the sake of this tutorial, when you're done, shut it down and you won't get charged any money for it. Um, well, you'll get charged for what you use. So if you only use it for an hour, that'll be 18 cents that you just paid to test this out. Or sorry, 1.8 cents, so almost two cents. Uh, it's a really good deal. So we're gonna continue. So for this next step, we're going to create a password. Uh, it has to be all kinds of requirements. So I'm gonna generate one on a different screen here. Okay, so I've just generated a password. We're going to type in the password here. Uh, wow, I typed that wrong. Okay, so I've just typed in the password. We're gonna continue on. Improve metrics monitoring. You know what? We can just add that. It's free. Doesn't matter. Besides that, that looks like we're about done. We're going to also give this a name. We're going to say um, elevated tech oop, tech systems. And we just want one droplet. We're going to deploy it to the default project here. So it's going to be literally just 12 bucks a month. We're going to create the droplet. And boom, there we go. So it is now deploying this droplet. Uh, and the time that it's taking to do this, I'm going to open up a new tab and I'm going to go to dash.cloudflare.com, just like this. And we are going to log in with the Cloudflare account we created in the previous episode. Obviously, I'm logged out. It has been a long time since I've worked on this. And boom, there we go. So we are in to Cloudflare. And it looks pretty much the same as the last video. So we're going to just continue. We're going to open up our domain here. And it is connected. There's visitors. I'm not sure why because the video hasn't even gone live yet. So yeah, I'm not sure why, but we're going to um, clear out our DNS records here. You're not going to be able to see these because these were just me testing previously. And all right, so this is our domain. This is our DNS page. We're going to see, we're going to expand this. Looks like it's still going. So we also have an IP address now, which is really cool. All right, so we're actually going to go in here. We're going to rename our virtual machine if I can figure out how. There we go. Okay, so we're going to rename our virtual machine to web1.elevatedtech.systems, and then we're going to go into Cloudflare, we're going to copy our IPv4 address, and we're going to go into our records, we're going to add a record, a record, we're going to say web1, paste in our IP address, and not proxy that. So we're going to click save. Okay, so basically that change that we just made uh, allows us to type in a command like this. and see the IP address of our virtual machine. So it's just much easier to connect to that instead of remembering the IP address or writing it down or whatever the case may be. So we're gonna close out of that. Now that we have web1.elevatedtech.systems, we're gonna open up Termius. Okay, so now I'm adding in our virtual machine. I'm um, pasting in the address and all that kind of stuff. We're going to type in root as well as our password. Then we should just be able to connect to it. Boom. So this is the virtual machine that we just created. Uh, it is all ready to go for us. So a few things we're going to do, first of all, we're going to edit our time zone. So I'm going to do sudo dpackage-reconfigure tz data. Click enter. So you're going to scroll through, find your time zone. I happen to know that New York is in Eastern time. 
then we are going to continue. So now that we have done that, as you can see, we have a ton of updates here. So I'm going to type in an update command. We're going to say sudo apt update dash y, sudo apt upgrade dash y, and sudo apt get update dash y, sudo apt get upgraded dash y. And we're going to say sudo apt auto remove dash y. So basically, this is going to update our virtual machine. It's going to upgrade it as well. So it's going to update our available packages. It's going to upgrade. Uh, and finally, it's going to remove any packages that are not needed anymore after the updates. So this is going to take a little bit. We'll be right back once this is done. So in the meantime of this update, I'm not sure why it's frozen either. But in the meantime, what we can do is we can go into Cloudflare here. Or sorry, we're going to go into DigitalOcean. We're going to go to Networking. And we're going to scroll down. We're going to figure out how to port forward here. So firewalls, we're going to edit, create firewall. And we're going to say this is the port forward firewall. Oh. Then we're going to allow a couple things. So first of all, we want to leave SSH. SSH is exactly how we are connecting to it right now. We're going to leave that there. We're going to add HTTP and HTTPS. And that is all we need. We're going to create firewall. Uh, next, we want to make sure that we have our firewall rule assigned to our droplet. So we're going to pick our droplet here. We're going to type in, uh, I think it was web1. Yeah, we're going to type in our droplet. So basically, we just had to add that so that way our firewall can run on the virtual machine so we can still access the certain ports and stuff we need to, but it will block all of the other ports. Okay, so next, I just wanted to show you this real quick. If you select PTR records in the same, in the same window as firewall rules, um, you can see here that our IPv4 address and our PTR record is here for elevated tech dot systems, which is cool. So basically naming your virtual machine creates a PTR record. So if you were to look up your virtual machine's IP address, it'll actually show you web one that elevated tech dot systems, which is kind of cool. I just found that interesting. And here we are. So the updates are now completed. Hopefully you updated your virtual machine as well. Now all we need to do, we're going to install just a couple more things here. Then we are almost done in this episode. We will continue on in the next one. but we're going to install nginx. So sudo apt install nginx dash y. nginx is a really cool program. I've been using it for years now, but uh, you can do all kinds of stuff with it. So you can run your website on it. It can act as like a web server. Uh, it can also act as a port proxy. So if you want to like proxy different IP addresses and all that kind of stuff, you can do that as well. But in this video, we are just going to be going over how to install nginx. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to actually create your website uh, in Bootstrap Studio and get that uploaded to your virtual machine. But but in this video, we're just going to check out how to install Nginx. So there we go. So I just navigated to web1.elevatedtech.systems. And as you can see, this is Nginx. And this is the program that we literally just installed. This is running on our virtual machine we created, or our droplet in DigitalOcean. So great job if this works for you. We're going to install one more thing in this video, then we're going to wrap it up for today. We're going to install Let's Encrypt. So we're going to type in sudo apt install certbot python3 certbot nginx, just like this, dash y. Just let this install. All right, so that is now installed. We are going to say certbot dash dash nginx dash d web one dot elevated tech dot systems. So what this is going to do, this is going to get a certificate for us that will be signed by SSL so that way anybody that accesses web1.elevatedtech.systems will have to go through https and it will be a secure connection to the server so it needs a couple it needs a little bit of information to get started here we're just going to agree blindly agree to everything actually no not that one and there we go so it's going to request a certificate and in a couple seconds here you'll see that it has successfully grabbed the certificate and if we go to reload our page boom right there we have an ssl secure connection to our web server. So that is all for today. Thank you for watching. We will pick back up right where you left off in the next episode. Uh, we're going to start using Bootstrap Studio and creating an actual website, and I'll show you how to upload that to your virtual machine. That'll be next, but thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you in the next one.